good morning students so we are going to see our subject design and engineering the subject code is est200 it is a two credit course so after studying the subject you will be able to achieve some outcome these three are the outcome so first we will see those outcome the first one is explain the different concept principle involved in design engineering so by after completing this course all of you will be able to explain the different concept and principle involved in this subject that is how to what are the major definitions associated with this designing engineering that you may not be aware now so you will be able to understand those topics very clearly then apply design thinking while learning and practicing engineering so now you are in your fourth semester okay right you will be studying so many subject like analog electronic digital electronic later you will study power subject like power system control system then power electronics like that so many subjects are there and you are the new teach not to buy her all your subject you are buy her thing on you are finding allah allah actually you will be studying various subject definition concept derivation etc and later you will be doing the practical lab you will be verifying that you have learned theory concept that you will be verifying those concept in your lab so while learning and practicing engineering what you are actually going to do it is you actually an engineer is one who should have some design thinking ability it is uh, for a good engineer that memory it is not the memorizing memorizing capacity that is going to be assessed with the existing knowledge what can he do further that is the duty of an engineer so with your practical and existing knowledge you need to think some design ideas so by studying with analog and digital electronics you should be having that design uh, thinking like what i can do with this analog electronic concept with this transistor and rectifier the transformer diode and what can i do with these thing further so some thinking process should be there in your mind after studying all these subject okay then comes develop innovative reliable sustainable and economically viable design incorporating knowledge in engineering so first you should have that design thinking ability okay after that only you can develop something new നിങ്ങൾക്ക് പഠിച്ച കാര്യങ്ങളിൽ നിന്ന് നിങ്ങൾക്ക് തോന്നണം ഇങ്ങനെ ചെയ്താലോ അല്ലെങ്കിൽ എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് സിസ്റ്റത്തിനെ ഒന്ന് മോഡിഫൈ ചെയ്താലോ എന്നൊക്കെ നിങ്ങൾക്ക് തോന്നണ്ടേ ആദ്യം ആദ്യം ആ തോമന ഉണ്ടാക്കുക ആഫ്റ്റർ ദാറ്റ് യു വിൽ ബി ഏബിൾ ടു ഡെവലപ്പ് സംതിങ് ന്യൂ ഇറ്റ് മേ നോട്ട് ബി എ ബിഗ് തിങ് ബട്ട് സംതിങ് ന്യൂ ഓർ സം മൈനർ മോഡിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഇൻ എക്സിസ്റ്റിംഗ് സിസ്റ്റം ആൻഡ് ദാറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി ദർ സം സ്പെസിഫിക്കേഷൻ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഷുഡ് ബി innovative and it should be credible and it should be sustainable it should be economic for environmental friendly then it should be economically viable it should not be very expensive okay so for a good design engineer you should be able to develop something new which is economically environmentally friendly and economically viable so these three are the outcome you will be achieving after learning this course so there are five modules here okay and each so in the first module you will be studying design process suppose you are a mobile manufacturer so first there is a process for designing the mobile you will need first you need to collect the raw material components required etc first 
ओके फर्स्ट में यू नीड टू आइडेंटिफाई विच टाइप ऑफ मोबाइल यू आर गोइंग टू मेक देन वाट आर द रॉ मेटीरियल रिक्वायर्ड देन यू नीड टू कलेक्ट इट एंड यू नीड टू एसेंबल इट आफ्टर मैन्युफैक्चरिंग इट शुड बी अवेलेबल इन द मार्केट देन बाय गेटिंग द फीडबैक फ्रॉम कस्टमर यू कैन एड फर्दर मॉडिफिकेशन लाइक फ्रॉम कस्टमर मे कंप्लेन दो दैट कैमरा क्वालिटी इज नोट गुड or the positioning of the camera is not good or the memory size is not good it should be more for playing like games and all we need more capacity and the battery storage is not proper so they can modify it and they can name it as a new model in the coming months so for the entire designing process there are some steps that steps are given in the first module then in the second module it is about design thinking approach actually how to think to design something new so there are some design thinking approaches that you will be studying here like divergent convergent thinking etc you will be studying all those in detail here then comes module 3 that is design communication okay so you you have got some idea okay to design a something new and that idea is in your mind but how will you communicate with the rest or how will you communicate it with the customer so you can do so many there are so many ways for that you can either do it orally you can simply speak your idea or you can build a prototype a small model you can build and show it to the customer this is what i am going to do so that is uh, explained in the module 3 then comes module 4 module 4 means it is design engineering concept there are some new concepts you should be aware of that is explained in module 4 then comes the last module we have already said the design model should be economically viable and environmentally friendly environment friendly so that aspect is explained in module 5 so those are the five module okay and these are the two textbook you can refer the others are yusuf hk and shankar pillai shivalokanathan tema the name of the book is engineering design process The second order, the second textbook order is Bolan G, and the name of the textbook is Engineering by Design. You can make use of these two textbook. Okay, so of all of you are aware of your mark is for your university examination. Remember the mark? In general assessment, the number of mark in your university period is equal to one. And your university examination will be having 100 marks this is divided into part a and part b part a carries 30 marks and part b carries 70 marks so the more weighted section is part b okay so there are 10 question in part a 10 question okay and there will be two question from each module there are five module two question from each module there will be 10 question so total six marks will be asked for one module with two question in part a and in part b from each question each module for you need to attempt a 14 mark question so 5 into 14 17 marks 70 marks okay so this is a case study question and you can't answer that question if you are not caro with the definition ningalku definition nannai manasilaakki illa engil a case study eludan pattilla because that is that question may not be asked from the textbook ya exam ne varna a case study ve edengil okku case study practical case study aayikku ningalku sambhavam shirikku manasilayillengil case study eludan pattilla okay so first you should be thorough with the concept 